Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be monitoring my physical TBR. This is a project I'm working on throughout the year where I'm monitoring my physical TBR by looking at the numbers for how many books I've read, how many books I've purchased, been gifted, gotten from book boxes, unhauled, all that stuff. Basically, adding and subtracting from my physical TBR. In this video, we're focusing on the third quarter of the year, July to September. I'm currently filming this on September 30th. The stacks of books I have in front of me today are hinting at something, let's say. At the start of the year, I counted my entire physical TBR. I concluded that I had 128 books on my physical TBR. And I said that my goal for the year would be to read half my physical TBR, meaning 64 books. Last time we did this, we ended up at 125 books. And I'm telling you already, it's not gonna look the same after this. <laughs> so we're at 125 books. I'm gonna talk through how many books I've read been gifted, purchased, all of that, and just like, what's the outlook for the final quarter of the year? How much do I still need to read in order to achieve this goal? All of that, you're going to get all of the numbers. It's gonna be fun. So let's start by looking at the number of books I read this last quarter. So in July, I read a total of eight books on my physical TBR. What you're seeing here is only six of them. I've unhauled to post reading them just because they weren't ones that I was very keen on keeping or didn't feel the need to keep. But here are six of those books. And I actually did quite well in July because my goal was to catch up with this reading goal. So I actually went for a lot of my shorter books and then I realized I don't really own that many short books. Since my focus in July was to read my physical TBR and get through as many books as I could, I actually did quite well and read eight physical books in July. I want to have it said I'm not counting books from libraries to these and I'm also not counting rereads because those are technically not on my physical TBR. The other two books that I've already unhauled are Lore Olympus Volume 1 and also Leave the World Behind. I can also add that this book is technically a bind-up that I DNF'd. I did read the first book in this to book bind up. So I read the first one, came to the conclusion that I didn't want to continue with this, so I will be unhauling it, but I'm still counting this one as read because I read one of the books and counting it as a book read. It's just that this particular edition is being unhauled, I guess, or DNF'd, but I read one book, so I'm counting this one as read. In August, I only read three books from my physical TBR. But the reason why this number is a bit lower is that I actually reread a couple of books in August instead. So I reread the second and third book in the Shades of Magic series. And as I mentioned, I don't count rereads to this challenge. And finally, for September, I read a total of five books of my physical TBR. I traveled a lot in September, which made my reading a bit inconsistent, I must say, but it also made it so that I could get through some chunkers. I'm quite happy with this page count, at least, of the books I read in September. That's five books, meaning that we have eight plus three plus five equals to 16 books read in this last quarter from my physical TBR. 125 books minus 16 books gets us down to 109 books, which is quite solid, I would say. I think this is the best quarter reading-wise. I think in previous quarters I read about 10 and 11 books, something like that, so I'm actually very happy with the amount of books I read, despite feeling a bit sluggish occasionally throughout the months. So that's it for the books read. Let's now consider all the things we need to add to this physical TBR. But let's start by looking at gifted books. I actually was gifted a bunch of books this last quarter and that is because my birthday was in September. So I wasn't gifted any books in either July or August, but in September people were very generous and gifted me a few books that I will gladly show to you. So this is the stack of books that I was very generously gifted in September. So I will go through them quickly. The Wheel of the Many I received from Marcus just about yesterday. City of Lost Chances and also Carrie Soto is back I got from Kevin. Girl Decoded, one of my friends, got for me for a birthday dinner. I was also gifted Ariadne and Book Lovers from another group of friends. And then my mom actually purchased the mysterious case of the Alperton Angels on me when we were at the airport going to Croatia. Editing Charlotte here. I messed up. I forgot one book. I also received the picture of Dorian Gray as a birthday gift. What I'm gonna do is I will just keep this video rolling the way it's meant to be or the way I thought it was and then by the end of this video I will just plus one. So keep in mind there's an extra gifted book 
to be included in the calculations, but instead of having the calculations not matching what I'm saying, because I feel like that's going to be more confusing, I will just plus one by the end of this video. Okay? Thanks for understanding. <laughs> A very generous and heavy stack, and I'm so excited to get to all of these books, and I'm so grateful that people gifted me books. That means a lot. So we were at 109, but then we need to add seven books to this, which brings us to 116 books, slowly going up. Next up, we have hauled books, books I purchased myself. Now, I will admit, in July, I went a bit on a shopping spree when it came to books. I was in Gothenburg, I purchased a few books there in their sci-fi bookstore. I then placed a couple of orders for books as well, because there were a few really hype books I wanted to get, and there was also a sale, I believe, on a few of them. Did I break my book buying ban? Yeah, I kind of did. If you don't know, I have a book buying game. I'm low-key on a book buying ban, meaning that I am only allowed to purchase books when I've earned it, I guess. This excludes gifts, obviously, books from book boxes, and also sequels in series. Those I can get whenever it's not required that I earn those books. Otherwise, for me to purchase books, I need to either have read five books of my physical TBR, achieved a monthly TBR, completed a readathon, small challenges like that. It's something that works for me, it motivates me, I like keeping track of it that way, basically, but it's not that deep. And yes, I did break it. <laughs> I still haven't earned all of these books that I'm gonna show you, but that is fine because my aim will be to have earned all of those books by the end of the year at least. I will try and count it retroactively instead. So these are the 12 books that I purchased in July. It's books I've been eyeing for a while, books I've intended to read, most of them at least. I even sent back a few books actually. I purchased two books that were quite expensive considering their size and all of that. And then when I received it, I regretted it and I actually sent back those. So I did try to constrain myself a bit, I guess. Five of these books I have by now earned back. These are the five books I have considered that I've earned back. So I earned this one for reading 20 books of my physical TBR. This one for reading 25 books of my physical TBR. This one for reading 30 books of my physical TBR, this one for reading 35 books of my physical TBR, and then this one for completing my July TBR. So I haven't been completing monthly TBRs except for my July one, unfortunately. A lovely stack I'm very happy about, and I'm excited to still get to many of these books, but uh, so, sort of started to break my, my, my own game there, and my own rules. In August, I purchased only one book, and that is a sequel, meaning I was allowed to, and that is He Who Drowned the World by Shelley Parker Shan. I'm very excited to get to this. I still haven't. I read the first chapter. That's it for purchase books. 12 plus 1 equals 13, so we need to add 13 books to 116, which brings us to 129 books, which is more than I started this quarter with. Final category where we need to add books is the book boxes books. I have an Illumicrate subscription, I cancelled my Afterlife subscription, but I have subscribed to the Evernight subscription, also owned by Illumicrate, which is basically their like thriller horror-esque themed book that is, I think it's bi-monthly, maybe? Or maybe quarterly, I don't quite remember. But I've been quite good at eyeing up the upcoming Illumicrate books and skipping books. So I actually skipped August's book. September's book, and I will also be skipping the October book. Would I love to own them? Sure, but I need to start thinking about what I will actually read and enjoy. So I still adore my Illumicrate subscription, I'm still gonna stick with it, but I'm gonna be a bit more picky about the books I actually pay for, I guess. These are the three new editions. This one is from July, these two are from August, and aren't they stunning? Look at those edges! Silver Nitrate is from the Evernight box, and I'm very excited to get to it, actually. The Chassad Air sounds incredible. The Sun and the Void is just stunning. So adding another three books to the count, 129 plus 3 equals 132. <sighs> now for the final category, books I have unhauled. I've been quite good at unhauling books I've read, mainly because I need to consider the space I have on my shelves, and... I'm attempting to have some sort of rule where I only keep books I've given three stars or higher. I'm not like hardcore with that rule, but I feel like it's a good 
benchmark for me to assess whether I should keep a book or not. Although some of the books I haven't hauled that I read, I've rated three or four stars, but I simply haven't felt the need to keep. So as I mentioned, I've unhauled a few books I've already read, but I've also unhauled three books I have not read, which means I can remove them from my physical TBR. The books I've unhauled this last quarter are the Stone Sky by N.K. Jemisin, which is the third book in the Broken Earth series, the one where Fifth Season is the first book. I have read the first two, but I realized that I would probably never be that inclined to pick up the third book because I didn't particularly enjoy that series. I think that's more of a me issue than something else. So I decided to unhaul the entire series, get some more space on my shelves. I also unhauled the Book Eaters, my Lumicrate edition of that one, because I've had it on multiple TBRs. I did make an attempt to read it in July and I just wasn't into it and I thought that someone else would appreciate that stunning edition more than I did. And then finally, this is gonna be a bit weird, but I did unhaul my edition of Kerry Soto is Back, which you might think sounds weird considering that I was gifted Kerry Soto is Back by Kevin. So how does this set up? Well, <laughs> the edition I had of Kerry Soto is Back is one of those large paperbacks and I've really come to the conclusion that I hate those. I don't want to read those. I don't like holding and reading those. I don't know why. I can make exceptions for a few. I still have some of those larger paperbacks on my shelves. I can make exceptions. But like, if I have the choice, I'm not gonna go through that. So I actually unhauled that edition that I had of Carrie Soto is Back. And then Kevin surprised me with this one for my birthday. So I basically just changed my Carrie Soto edition. But... For the count of this physical TBR, I'm adding and subtracting it, basically. I don't mind this size in a paperback. I like this size of a paperback. Those bigger ones, nah, N not a fan, not a fan. And it will make me even less likely to read a book if it's in that format. It's just the way I am. 132 books, but we have unhauled three. That brings us down to 129 books. Hey, how do we feel about that? <laughs> and this is where we insert this book. So plus one giving us 130 books. It's four more books than I started the quarter with. It's also one more book than I started the year with. But overall I don't feel too bad about it. I do feel like I've done very well with reading my physical TBR this last quarter. It's definitely my best quarter from what I remember. I'm also super grateful for all of the books that I was gifted in September. Thank you so much. There was no need for that. Yes, I perhaps could have held back a bit when I placed my own orders back in July, but A, you gotta live a little, and I've actually read a bunch of those books already, so I don't mind. Now, considering I need to read 64 books by the end of the year, and I have just now, in this quarter, gotten past the halfway point by reading a total of 36 books, it's not looking great. <laughs> I'm not doing the best. If I want to get my 64 books read before the end of the year, I need to read 28 books from my physical TBR in October, November, December. I mean, I love a challenge, <laughs> but also another thing to consider here is most of the books on my physical TBR aren't short. I'm not a short book girly. I did try that. That was what I attempted to do in July, was to read a bunch of my shorter books just to get through books. And that's when I realized I don't have that many short books and the ones I had, I read back then. <laughs> It's gonna get tricky. I'm still gonna work towards this goal. I'm not gonna beat myself up in case I don't reach it. Nevertheless, I still like having this challenge. It makes me focus more on my physical TBR. It makes me appreciate it more. It makes me think a bit more before I purchase books. It makes me consider the books I subscribe to on Lumicrate as well. I'm still obsessed with this challenge and I will definitely continue with it next year as well. Don't worry about that. But it's and it's always fun to just go through the numbers. I'm a numbers girl. I like this. It's basically what I do for work as well. Fingers crossed that at least by the end of the year I will have a physical TBR that is less than what I started the year with. That is like the low goal for me, the small goal, the one I should be able to reach, and then the high goal, the difficult the the big goal is to read those 28 books that I need to get read in the next three months. That's it for this video, I think. Please let me know if you are working on any year-long goals this year. Please feel free to share in the comments how you're doing with them, what your status is, if you're still feeling okay about it or not. We can give each other some encouraging words in the comment section. Also, once again, thanks to everyone that just 
gifted me something or congratulated me on my birthday. It means a lot. I feel like I'm back in my reading era. I was a bit on and off in August, also start of September, but now I feel it. I'm in my reading era, I'm in my booktube era. I'm very excited about reading, making content about it and all of that. So I'm very excited for the quarter that is to come. I'm excited for the spooky season and yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Please take care and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.